All right, we got preview. You ready? The party is going strong here at the Thor Industries Dealer Open House. I am Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. I promised you five new products today. Right here is the fifth. The music is playing. People are laughing, having a good time, and checking out the Dazzle, a brand new B van from Thor Motor Coach. If you are into camper vans, if you live that van lifestyle and you want a camper van that is just built to be your home base, built to take you anywhere where you can go out there and you can just have a great time doing whatever it is you enjoy doing outdoor and come back and cook a meal, take a shower, get a great night's sleep. This is the van for you. You have three floor plans right here. There is the 2AB, which is the one we are going to take a look at. You can get this with the optional sky bunk. There's the 2JB, that you can also get with the optional sky bunk. And the 2LB, that one does not have the sky bunk option. We're going to take a look at the inside and the outside of what makes the Dazzle a perfect B van. Now, this is a Ram ProMaster 3500 XT chassis, and I'm just going to tell you right now. Your occupant and cargo carrying capacity on this is impressive, 2,011 pounds. Now that is in a van that is 21 feet, one inch in length. Now remember when we get this van in from Ram, this is a window van. It is absolutely empty inside. Then our team on the assembly line, our engineers, our designers, they get together and they build this amazing van. And what's nice about the way we've designed the Dazzle is we've taken a lot of those features. Think about, uh, let's take another Ram product. Let's take the Ram 1500. You can get it in a number of different trim levels and it all depends on how you're gonna use it, right? Maybe you don't need to go with the Laramie and the leather this and the fancy that and whatever it is. You want something that you can get down and dirty and it's built for adventure. Well, think about this along the same lines as our Talaran sequence. It's built on the same 3500 XT chassis, but you, you don't have the Italian Technoform cabinets. Maybe you don't like that. These are flat panel cabinets in Alpine White. They are absolutely gorgeous. No awning, no bike rack. We talked to a number of people who said, hey, listen, I don't use that stuff. I don't need that stuff. I want a van built for me and the way I use it. So let's head inside and show you what this Dazzle is all about. You have the nice running boards out here. You have the rollout screen. This is really nice for ventilation. Two straps, it zips into place, keeps the critters out, the bugs out. It lets in a lot of nice ventilation. Your 12 volt battery disconnect switch right here when you walk in. Turn it on, leave it on before you set off for adventure in your Dazzle. You do have your GFCI 110 and this Dazzle has a 2800 gas generator. Again, we talk to people who say, listen, I don't want lithium batteries. I want a good old fashioned gas generator to take me out there and do some dry camping. This is it, the Dazzle. So right here, you have this great pedestal table, two legs, these seats swivel so you can turn around. You have seat belts for four in here, two people here, two people here windows for ventilation. I like the way these screens work at night. Just simply zip them right into place. Storage up above. I do love the look of these cabinets, the way they look, the way they feel. They're very lightweight. You can store all your belongings in here. Maybe it's a laptop. You have it up here, down it goes on the table, and you are connected to the WineGuard Connect 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. So, you have your plan, no matter what carrier you're using, or you can go through WineGuard, you buy a data plan, you have a SIM card, you insert it into the module on top. You now have 4G hotspot wherever you happen to be dry camping. And if you're close to a nearby Wi-Fi signal, you can use that WineGuard Connect to pull in those weaker Wi-Fi signals. And now you have internet no matter where you happen to go. So table here, you have the windows, you have the ventilation, you have the storage, you have the lights, you have a fan and you have more gadgetry. While you're here, Tom, I think this will probably be a great time to talk about some of these gadgets. Uh, I can roll this 
up out of the way. Rapid Camp Plus, this worked for you. He's good. I got the thumbs up. So this is going to be the brains here. Check your tank levels. Turn on your lights. Turn on your water pump. Adjust your climate. Turn on the tank heaters. Yep, heated tanks on this for your, uh, for your gray tank. This is a cassette toilet. We'll talk about your Truma and your hot water here soon. You can turn on your AC unit from here or from wherever you happen to be because you have the cloud with this. So once you sign up for the cloud, you can control your lights and your climate from wherever you happen to be. So you are out there exploring a new town. You can, oh, I'm getting back later, or it's getting hot, or it's getting cool. Whatever it is, you can control all that remotely. The lights here are on dimmers. Just move the slider, set the mood. Real easy to do. Generator, right? The generator is back. You can set your auto gen start from here. Check your coach batteries. So you can set the triggers. What do you want? Your HVAC load. Do you want volts? How long do you want it to run? What's your quiet time? Control that right from here. You have 190 watts of solar standard. We'll show you where you can plug in more. All you do is scroll up on that same page. Now you can take a look at your solar. What's coming in? What's going out? How much you using? And right here with your kitchen and your bath fan, hard buttons down below to easily turn on the lights. And over here, some quick features here. And this is how you're going to pair your phone to use this with, your, uh, with the cloud. Up above, our Truma Eco Combi. This is going to be your hot water and it is going to be your furnace. It is a hydronic system here. What's great about this is you can set timers on this, right? So let's say that you want a nice piping hot shower at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., whatever it is, okay? You can go ahead and set that so it circulates and turns on the hot water when you want it. When do you want that furnace to fire up? You can go ahead and set that. A couple of settings to know about, though, on this. When you're using your hot water, you have an eco, a boost, and a hot. Now, when you go to the hot set or the boost setting, which is 144 degrees, that is going to take and shut off your furnace, but that's when you want to use your shower. Truma Eco Combi, it's a great system to have, and it runs conveniently off your propane tank. So we're going to talk about that. What do you say, Tom, is going to be the best way? You want to go around back? You want to come in here and show the kitchen? Go around back. Let me open the door for you. We'll give you a complete look at the outside here. In fact, there you go, Tom. Maybe you can step on in. All right. So you can see we do have the, the bunks right over there. That is a 72 by 66 pullout bed uh, here. And check this out. Well, you have a little bit of storage down below. So you can keep, you know, cameras or anything you need. Just a nice little amount of storage back here. Again, those easy to use privacy shades that zip down. Ventilation is always, always a big concern. And it's one of the things we took into consideration when making the dazzle. People are like, we want opening windows, we want screens, we want to be able to be out there and just enjoy the breeze Mother Nature gives off. Well, you can open these windows. There's a screen that rolls into place. So you get in the breeze there. There's a screen, another roll-up screen for the back door. Another screen over here, so you have all sorts of ventilation. Your air conditioner is right up top here. Watch your step if you're going down there, Tom. Uh, just give you a couple of quick capacities here because this is new. It's an 11,000 BTU AC. I haven't had time to study. You can see I can stand up in here, 75 inch interior height. We talked about your Truma system heating up your water. It's 27 gallons of uh, fresh water, your gray tank is a cassette toilet, it's four and three quarters, and then your gray tank is 20 gallons, and we'll show you where to empty that on the side. So those are your capacities, and the cargo capacity inside is great too. Drawers here, storage here, cabinets here, cabinets right here, USB-A ports over here. So you can really pack a lot into this van. As we work our way up into I'll have Tom step on up one more time. You got it? All right. Let's talk about this kitchen. All right, so you have the nice countertops in here that offer you plenty of room when you are using your two burner gas cooktop. Turn it to light, hit the button, the propane's on. You are now heating up whatever it is you need to heat up either on the stove. You have the nice microwave up above and then right down below your 12 volt fridge. So it's really maximizing space in here. Wireless charging, grab your phone, throw it on the wireless charger. Now you're taking and charging up for your next adventure or 
pull it up. Plug something in. These are GFCI protected. You do need to be plugged into 30 amp shore power or have your generator on for these uh, circuits to be active. USB A and a USB C down below. Pull down sprayer. More storage up above here. Sink and large, large drawers. And then over here, I like the two-tone on this. I think the designers did a fantastic job. It looks sharp. Closet space in here. Hang your outdoor adventure clothes in here because you're going to be using this for adventuring. And then down below, there's your pantry. Go ahead and stock that full of all of your favorites and then clean up here in our wet bath. So we have a medicine cabinet. We have a full down sink. There is the sink uh, nozzle. I mean, I'm gonna just reach in time. I'm gonna be rude and reach across the tabletop. Pull down sink, there we go. Lights and fans. There's our cassette toilet. Make sure you move that before you put the sink in. See, I'm just teaching you what not to do. Love this toilet paper holder right down here so it keeps it dry when you uh, put your toilet paper in here. And there's the controls for your shower. Now, you know this is blue disc. That is your shower miser, especially when you're in a van like this and you're dry camping. The last thing you wanna do is fill up your gray tank. So what the shower miser does is it is going to let you know when the water is hot. Because you have the Truma Eco Combi, it's continuous hot water. Once that water gets hot and the knob is ready to roll, the, the knob. The knob is going to be to the side. Once that disc is uh, ready to go, it's going to turn from that blue color to a bluish grayish white. When it does, you know you have hot water. So when you're standing there with the shower head, and you're going like this, waiting for the hot water. No cold water, right? It's all going to be hot, piping hot the entire time. And again, you can set the temperature with your Truma Eco Combi. Four and three quarter gallon cassette toilet. The blue button that Tom showed you in the bathroom is how you fill the bowl with water. And then the gray handle down below is your flush lever. And outside, when we go around, we'll show you where to empty that. You do have a vent in here, which is great for ventilation. So you're out on the river, you're doing something kind of sloppy, you get great ventilation in here to dry out all of your goods. So that is the inside of the Dazzle. Want to do a little outside tour? Let's do it. Let's see what's going on out here. More storage down below here. And if you want to put a pet dish in there, you can. Oh, you know what? Let's talk about the driving experience. Because this, because this Ram update is great. They really, really, really did it up. This is the Uconnect 5 system here. So it has, you know what? I'm just going to start this up. I know there are people around, but all right, here we go. Let me turn off the AC because you definitely do not need it on a day like today. Here we go. It is now on. You can mute it. You can turn the screen off. Uh, this is the Uconnect 5. Here you go. It fires up Sirius XM. You can connect two phones to this. You have your radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Depending on the de your device on how old or new it is, you can connect wirelessly, which is really great. Comfort, you can control, uh, I have everything off. You can control it from the touch screen. You can control it from the hard buttons. There's your navigation. The you, you can, I keep turning on the hazards. The Uconnect works really well. You can kind of adjust this and dial this in and change different colors and different themes. There's how you pair your phones, information on your vehicle. And there are a couple of different apps you can go in here. Uh, Alexa, your device manager, Android Auto. Yeah, Alexa in your car, I know. Technology has gotten crazy. Uh, different media group so whatever you want to do everything is in here and it's all touch screen software updates everything is in here you can customize this like you would your phone or your tablet uh, I have the Uconnect 4 in uh, my personal vehicle I think it's amazing and this Uconnect 5 takes it one step further it's a uh, it's a great setup here nine speed transmission with the tow haul mode wireless charging which is great so you have your phone charging here you're connected wirelessly for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto if it doesn't uh, use wireless charging because it's a little older USB-C and A you have 12 volt port here lots of storage over here storage up above here and this dash Ram really knocked it out of the park on this. You can go through and customize menus, the safety on here, you have lane departure warning, uh, tire pressure monitoring, you have all kinds of 
information. Everything you could need for a trip is on here. Bluetooth phone, you press the little speaker, it will read you the text. Uh, this van we're in right now, this one has, uh, has the adaptive cruise control. Set it here, buttons on the back control your radio, volume over here, change your channels over here, uh, wipers, lights, electronic parking brake, which is a really nice feature to have. You don't have the big handbrake over here. Just hit the e-brake and you're good to go. Makes it easier when you're swiveling these seats around to not have the uh, electron or the big handbrake over here. Emergency start. So in the event that your battery is dead, you can take and use the house batteries to jumpstart this. You just hold down emergency start, push button start on this, and it will take and draw power from your chassis ba or house battery and dump it over into your chassis batteries and jumpstart. Uh, your dazzle. Heated remote mirrors, you can take and pull those in just to get those out of the way. Cup holders, everything you could need is up here. It's uh, it's a great drive. It's peppy, 276 horsepower, 250 pound-feet of torque. You have a 3,500 pound hitch. Uh, when you put this into uh, reverse, you have a nice backup camera with the guidelines to help you navigate and back into any place that you need to go. And as we walk around, watch your step on the running board. I'll lift that up for you, Tom, and out we go. So you see the big window van on here. Talked about all this. There's a QR code we'll, we'll show you here at the end. You can uh, learn more. Over here, you have a couple of 110s. Generator needs to be on, or you need to be plugged into shore power to run those. Out back, we remove the bike rack for you. This way you can take and put something onto this 3,500 pound hitch. Maybe you have a, a trailer for your e-bikes or maybe you have, whatever it is you're into, you can hook up to here. You do have a four pin connector back here, storage back here. You have a hose, which will connect down here to rinse off whatever it is on your adventuring. Water pump, again, you need that on if you are dry camping. A light, which is over on the business end, so you can see what you're doing when you're hooking up a 110 and a 12 volt. So a lot of connections back here. Here's the uh, here's the backup camera right up here. And again, that screen door just rolls up, latch D-rings into place. Real easy to use. It's always there. And as we head around, that's uh, your fresh water fill. It does lock. I know that's super important for a lot of folks out there. So we wanted to make sure that that locked for you. This is where you fill your city water. Again, you're gonna wanna use a potable water hose for that. Cassette toilet is right here. And again, you just pull this out and then you go ahead and empty that where you are legally allowed to. That's the light for the button we just talked about. Exhaust for your Truma. You want to hook up more than 190 watts of standard solar. If you have some panels, you can plug those right into here, and those are tied into the Rapid Camp Plus, and you can monitor all that solar here. If you'd like to hook up cable, if you want to put in a TV, this is where you're going to do that. A lot of folks we were talking to when he made this van said, you know, I don't watch TV. I don't need a TV in my van. So here you go. If you want to add one in, you can. 30 amp shore power cord. So again, you have 30 amps of shore power and a gas generator. This is your fuel fill right in here. So real easy to use, easy to drive. It is the Dazzle camper van. If you are into adventuring, getting off grid, maybe it's just day trips. Maybe it's long weekends. Whatever you wanna do, go out there, have some fun in the brand new Dazzle camper van. Again, three floor plans. If you'd like to learn more about them, Head on over to ThorMotorCoach.com right now and you can